Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm TechFanag9 from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM on your Galaxy S4 device. And now before we do get started, this will work on any type of Galaxy S4, it doesn't matter if you have Acta version, Acta Core version, you know, you have a Quad Core, US variant, Canadian variant, UK variant, it doesn't matter, all these are going to be exact same steps, no need to worry about that. Um, just make sure you do download the correct custom ROM for your specific model. It has to be a specific model. So I'm going to go and go into settings and show you that I'm running on uh, T-Mobile and I have to download specifically for T-Mobile. It cannot be at t it cannot be Octa-Core, it cannot be like one from Canadian, uh, Canadian variants. It has to be for T-Mobile. I specifically say it's for T-Mobile or this will not work and you could potentially break your phone. Uh, which would be really bad. So as you can see, um, it should show it up right here. So it's SGH M919. So that's a T-Mobile one right there. Also right there, SGH M919. So that's a T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S4 uh, model number variant. So make sure you're running, uh, you download the correct one for your correct device. And now I'm going to go into File Manager. My file's right here. And um, all files, and then device storage, and it should be right here. So I'm going to be installing Cygenomod today in this video. And Cygenomod requires GApps as well, so I wanted to download GApps too. So Cygenomod 10.1, and my codename is JFITE Mobile, TMO. And then GApps right there, the latest version of Google Apps. So we're going to install that. So you need, uh, well, actually one more requirement is that you need a custom recovery. So you have two options. You can install Clockromod Recovery on your Galaxy S4 or you can install Team One Recovery Project on your Galaxy S4. Um, so make sure you have one of those two devices or uh, two recoveries. Today I'm, in this video I'm going to be using Clockromod Recovery which is the more of the popular one. Uh, but Team One Recovery Project is becoming very popular in lately in these last months. Um, so just go and power off your phone. And these are the same steps for um, Team One Recovery and Clockromod Recovery. Um, it'll just look a little bit different, but overall, you should uh, be. It should be just about the same. It'll look a bit different, but overall, you'll be good to go. Okay, so once your phone is um, powered off, we're gonna be pressing the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. Once your phone uh, vibrates, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume up and home center button. So all three, vibration, let go of the power. There we go, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the other two keys. And now you can let go once you see that blue screen right there. And just wait until it enters into recovery mode. A custom recovery mode, actually. So just give it a few seconds. And now it looks something like this. It may have blocks, that's um, Team 1 recovery, uh, recovery, custom recovery. Or it could be blue, which is clock on my recovery stock. This is just a little modified version of clock on my recovery, but that's all right. Um, so what we're going to do is first do a fact reset so we don't soft break our phone. So go ahead and do wipe data set fact reset and this will actually remove all your apps from your internal phone. Um, it will remove all the settings, all that. So make sure you actually backed it up or um, did an Android backup before this as well as this will delete everything. Um, if you don't know how to do an Android backup, I have an annotation right up there and a link down below on how to do an Android backup before installing a custom ROM which I highly recommend. So I'll go and select yes for uh, factory reset and now you can see right there um, it is doing its whole thing and this will take only a few minutes especially with a speedy Galaxy S4 <laughs> and let me focus that for you and we're done now let's go and go back right here and um, go to uh, wipe cache partition so we're going to do this every time you install a new custom ROM um, so this will avoid soft breaking your device and It'll avoid a lot of problems just in general. So as you can see, it's doing this whole thing and should be done in just a few seconds. Um, let's give it a few seconds now. And wipe. All right, it is complete. Now we're going to go into advanced. Select it and go into wipe down the cache right there. And select yes. All right, we're done with that. Now go back. Install zip from SD card. And now, uh, depending where you put your SD card, I put on my internal SD, uh, internal uh, Galaxy S4 storage. Uh, but you could have put it on your micro SD card. In that case, go and choose uh, choose it from SD, external SD card. But I did my internal, so I'm gonna choose the first one. And I put it. It should be in under uh, zero uh, zero folder. So make sure you do um, look into zero uh, dash folder, because that's where all your fi files are. If you're doing it from internal, so like that, and find the um, zip file, the actual ROM, and in this case it does require gapps, also known as Google Apps, so we're installing, we're going to install the custom ROM first, so select Cygenomod 10.1 in my case, 
and select yes and it'll take about a minute or two to install this ROM and once this is done we're going to install gapps reboot our device and we'll be good to go so I'll be right back after this alright so the custom ROM has been finished installing so I'm going to go back into choose zip from SD card or choose zip from external SD card if that's where you transfer gapps if your certain ROM does require gapps in my case it does so I'm going to go and do choose zip from SD card and go into zero that's uh, folder right there and go ahead and select it and I'm gonna try to finish this up right before my battery di does die <laughs> on my camera select gapps right there and select yes right there select yes and now it's gonna go install gapps and I'll be right back after I replace my uh, camera battery <laughs> Alright, so Google Apps, also known as GApps, has finished installing, and we already did uh, install the custom ROM first. So go in and choose Go Back, select that right there, Go Back, and choose Reboot System Now. And now what your phone is going to do, it's going to reboot, and it's going to reboot into a custom ROM. So I just want to show you the initial um, boot animation and show you how it's actually running as Cygenomod, a custom ROM for your Galaxy S4. Uh, so we're just going to give it a few seconds. And the very first initial boot will take about five to five minutes just because um, you installed a new ROM. And as you can see right there, it's running on Cygenomod. Previously, it was running on stock TouchWiz. So I'm going to give this a few seconds just to boot up. And then we're going to set up our phone and take a look at Cygenomod. Okay, so here's the start screen. And as you can see by the look of it, it doesn't look anything similar to TouchWiz. Uh, because it's not on TouchWiz, it's actually running on um, pure Android experience. Uh, Cygenomod, which removes all the touches, all the bloatware, and um, it's going to give you a very nice, um, clean experience uh, for your Android device. So I'm going to go and skip all this and show you in settings that it's running on Cygenomod. Alright, so let's go and finish this up. Let's dive into settings. So option right there, and settings. Go all the way down to about phone. And here is where it's going to say Android version and all the Cygenomod and all that too. So let me go and zoom in just to show you guys. And so we're going to set Gemini version right there, um, memory right there, CPU, kernel, and a version 4.2.2, and my model number, which is still SGH M919. So that is how you install a custom ROM on your Galaxy S4. I do recommend you do an Android backup. You can see that annotation right up there still. And I had to do an Android backup first before installing a custom ROM. And if you, didn't, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner. As I do have a lot of videos on Galaxy S4 on ROM reviews, how to install custom ROMs like in this video, how to do an Android backups, rooting, clock on my recovery, a lot of videos just for Galaxy S4 and a lot of other devices like a Nexus 4, um, a Galaxy Nexus, and even a Galaxy S3, and just general Android videos um, like app reviews and game reviews in general. So if you do like Android, um, you're going to love this channel, and be sure to subscribe. And if you need help installing custom ROM, maybe something just doesn't work, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All three links are down below, and a step written step-by-step -step guide is down below uh, with some good sources on where to install uh, custom ROMs for your specific Galaxy S4 model. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.